Hello and welcome back to our Gold Sigma Nuzlocke. This is part 17. In this episode, we're here ready to take on Chuck in the Cyanwood Gym. Now, our team is a little bit lower level than I was originally going to go for, and that is because I fell a little bit under the web yesterday and decided to kind of just leave Pokemon as it was. So, our team is not quite the level I would like them to be, but also I feel like we'll be fine. We have a Gengar in a fighting gym. I feel like we'll do okay. So to quickly go over our team, we have ourselves a level 32 Slowpoke, a level 32 Nidorina, who hopefully we can get evolved at some point soon, because it's looking mighty bad. Uh, we have our Ace, a level 32 Gengar, for this gym at least. A level 34 Luxray, because I actually trained that Pokemon. A level 32 Steelix, and a level 32 Lanoodle. I love the fact that I said all of their normal names and then messed up the noodle. Nice. But, in terms of Pokemon that are actually going to be useful, we're going to be relying very heavily on Slowpoke, Luxray, because it has Intimidate, which actually makes it fairly useful, Gengar, and Cookie. Steelix and Lanoodle probably going to be sitting in the back a fair bit for this episode. We'll see how well they can do. But I believe we already came in here, we battled the first two trainers. We are going to go ahead and battle the remaining trainers uh, with Slowpoke out in front first. While I don't think it's going to become a Slowbro, I would like to get a little bit more XP just so it can take a hit, basically. Because if, as long as it can take a hit and I can heal up Gengar for a turn, it'll be fine. Hiya, I have no fear of anything tough. I shout boulders for training every day. He has Rock Smash, which we still can't use. Interesting. This dude might just be one of the strongest level 30 Makahita trainers in the world. He might be the strongest. Fake out. Terrifying. Annoying. Definitely annoying. A very annoying move that I hope I don't have to see. But Gengar can't get hit by it. The only thing that really, really intimidates me about this gym is the potential for one of his fighting types to have the suit. If we get caught in a situation where, for example, we're up against, uh, what's the fighting type against the suit? Like Pangoro, right? And we try and swap out our Gengar, and we get hit by a pursuit, Gengar's going down, okay? Obviously, with a Pangoro, we do thankfully have Dazzling Gleam. This is Wally, okay. I was sculpted by Chuck. It's all your fault, Sniff. Interesting, he's crying in the corner because he got bullied. Uh, back to what I was saying though, if we fight a Pangoro, we have Dazzling Gleam, so we should be okay. For the most part, Gengar should be fine. We can't get hit by fighting type moves. The only thing that really scares me is like a fighting type that would have like Shadow Claw or Knock Off. But, again, there's not a whole lot of those, so I feel like we'll be okay. Crits can also happen, crits would be lovely if we could get just a bunch of crits. Actually, I don't want to ask for any crits. I prefer there to be no crits throughout the entire battle than us both get one crit each. I would much rather have that. Hitmonchan. Now, is this one going to have punch moves? Because this Pokemon had Pursuit before. This Pokemon is a Pokemon that can learn Pursuit. So, that intimidates me. Oh. What are we doing here? Agility. With a speedy hit on Chan here. Okay. Okay. Uh, still, that's fine. Pursuit C. See, hit one Chan lands Pursuit, and that scares me. I don't like that. Thankfully, we know now that we can live a Pursuit reasonably well from a level 5 hit one Chan, so we should have no reason to swap out against a hit one Chan ever. Heracross. I think we stay in. What's a Heracross going to do? What moves can it learn? Like, Pin Missile? That's four times resisted. Takedown? Close Combat? Revenge? Tackle? Yeah, I, I don't think he has a move to hit me. Oh no. Oh, Heracross. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I bullied him so much. This poor Heracross. He just wanted to be alive. Oh, this is... It's a sad end for the Heracross, but it's a level up on Gengar, and I will take that before the gym. That's a very important thing to have. Heracross is definitely a Pokemon that slipped my mind. Honestly, I'm excited to see what the gym leader has. 
Normally he would have what, like... What does Chuck normally use? Machamp? Polyrath? One of the Hitmons? That's, that's about all I remember. My Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. So you say. Okay, let's test her theory. Riolu, if your Pokemon are bound to you by friendship, why is that not a Lucario? Excuse me? Pursue? 20 damage. Not a lot of damage. Okay. But seriously, if her Pokemon are bound to her with happiness, that Pokemon should be evolved. I think the Pokemon secretly hate her. I'm gonna just come right out and say it straight to her face. Your Pokemon hate you, man. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. What makes it worse is she thinks she has the friendship. It's a rough life. It's a rough life. We could have had a Riolu. We could have if we just encountered it. But no, we encountered, what was it, like a Hoot Hoot or something stupid? I'm still sad about the amount of birds we've picked up in this playthrough. And yeah, I'm a fighting gym and I'm not using a single one of them. Magic. That's magic. We get fully paralyzed by glare. Okay. My controller just died? Hello? Con controller? Okay. Oh, uh, 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 I don't like that. I was just spamming A on my controller to try and get it to come back to life. Oh no. Oh no. You know what we're doing this turn? We're not swapping out. That's what we're doing. We're staying in. We're gonna super potion up. Just don't go for crunch. Screech. Well, Crunch is now super scary, and Pursuit... Pursuit doesn't do any more damage if you swap out, right? So we should be completely fine to, like, go into Cookie. There's no Pursuit anyway, so we're fine. Okay. Poison Tail wasn't even going for Crunch. Interesting. Which is even better for Cookie, I guess. Still, that was really weird that it had Crunch. Pokemon to look out for. If there is a Toxicroak, that would be the worst case scenario. I feel like Luxray could win a 1v1 against a Toxicroak. I feel like Cookie would be useful against a Toxicroak. I think we'd be okay. I think we will actually be okay. A little bit nerve-wracking, but we'll be okay. This is also good, like, sightseeing. I'm not sightseeing. What's the word I'm trying to think of? I can't think of the word. I don't know. It's a good learning experience to see what moves some of the Pokemon can have in the gym that the gym leader might also have. Because now we know, for example, if he sends out a Krogunk or a Toxicroak, which is more likely, uh, then we know for a fact that it could have Crunch. And we know for a fact that it's terrifying. Uh, we're just gonna lead with Gengar. Slightly scary thing to do, but I think we'll be fine. Words are useless, let your fists do the talking. I think we'll be fine leading with Gengar. We can swap out if we need to. Suit is obviously scary, but we'll be fine. Machop. Machop is going to get one shot. So, uh, Machop, goodbye. You're going to get one shot by the Staz and Gleam, and that's okay. So far, I'm expecting the team to involve, like, what have we seen in here? We've seen a bunch of Makuhita. We know he's probably going to keep his signature Pokemon Polyrath. The thing that's going to trip me up is if he has a Pokemon that I'm not expecting. Like how, for example, uh, Whitney had that Sylveon. Yeah, if there's something like that, that's going to trip me up. Other than that, I think we'll be okay. Can you imagine if he just, like... I, actually, let's, let's not. Let's not. Let's not finish that. Let's not finish what I was about to say, okay? Because I was going to go along the route of imagine if he just whipped out a Marshadow. That would be terrifying, and I don't want to imagine that. That is not happening. There is no way he has a Marshadow, okay? That was just the scariest fighting type I could think of on the moment, with good reason. Honestly, with good reason. So we're not going to be fighting that. No way. It'd be way too convenient. And honestly, I still feel like Gengar might outspeed and just go for a Shadow Ball, so even that might be okay. Would definitely be the scariest, though. Let's just go ahead and get this over with. I'm a little bit nervous, as I said, because of Pursuit, so... 
we will see how well we do. As I said before, Pangoro was scaring me, but now I remember that we have, you know, Dazzling Gleam, so I'm not terrified. Who do we want to lead with? I guess Gengar, right? We can't lead with Slowpoke. Slowpoke isn't strong enough to win against things. Slowpoke is there on the off chance we need to take a hit, basically. Sorry about Wally, he just moved to the island and is not used to making friends. Oof. But you're here for a gym battle, right? Wahahaha. <laughs> so you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Okay, Dr. Seuss. Watch this. Uh, did he just... Was that meant to be him picking it up and throwing it into the water? Is that what that was meant to be? Because it looked like the boulder came to life and tried to tackle him off the edge, and that's a much funnier experience. There, scared now, are you? I'm kind of laughing at you, my dude, I'm sorry. Why, it has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. I mean, considering he uses fighting types, it kind of does. Kind of. Kind of does have an impact, I guess. Leader Chuck sends out Medicham. It's past Psychic type. That makes it scary, but also makes it less scary. I don't think it survives a Shadow Ball. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I don't think it survives. Okay, right. Thankfully, I didn't get scared there and swap out. I was tempted to, I was tempted to swap out, but I didn't. So we're good. Primate. Right. Here's my theory. He's bringing in the Primate first, which makes me think it has a move to hit Gengar. Potentially like Shadow Claw or something like that. And honestly, 56 defense, 57 defense. Honestly, going by HP, Slowpoke can live an attack just as well, and it can't learn Pursuit. So if we find out it does have Shadow Claw or whatever, maybe we can go into something like Steelix. We're gonna go for Confusion. Seismic Toss, that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna live that okay. 34 HP. That's exactly enough to free hit KO me. Exactly enough. Close combat. We survive. No defense drops. No defense drops from close combat. Something to keep in mind. If it had defense drops, that'd be great for us. Close combat again. Yeah, that is not a move I want to crit me, and I know we have um, Lemonades, so we're just going to use those as they fully heal us at this point. So sure. See, if its defense was dropping here, that would be great. We're going to go for the Confusion. Okay. Uh, this should probably put him in Potion range. Crit, never mind. Okay, that works out. Slowpoke just genuinely won a fight. Huh, can't say I was expecting that. I'm actually a little bit surprised. Um, <laughs> huh. Hariyama. This is a Pokemon that scares me. If there was a Pokemon that was going to have knockoff, this would be it. Absolutely, this would be it. What we could do is go into Luxray and then swap into Gengar, expecting a fighting type move. That's like playing it super safe. Although he still has more Pokemon, so I want to keep Luxray at full health. Because I think he's going to have a Polyrath, because that's a signature Pokemon normally. Or is it Machamp? No, it's not Machamp. We're gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam. This should do half of his health. Should do half of his health. It does do half of his health, almost exactly. Meteor Mash. 
Not what I was expecting, but another Dazzling Gleam takes him out. Fresh water, that is not enough to heal up your Hariyama, my dude. Uh, why does he have fresh water when we've seen, like, random trainers with Hyper Potions, I think? He had Hyper Potions. Why did he fresh water? Because he's near a waterfall? He was like, Hariyama, go jump in the waterfall real quick. It'll revitalize you, my dude. Is that what happened? It doesn't change the fact that I'm spamming Dazzling Gleam. It, as long as that's a two-hit KO, we're fine. So, bye, Hariyama. It is Polyrath. Okay, so I am very glad I kept Luxray around at full health. Honestly, swapping it to Luxray probably would have been absolutely fine. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We get the Intimidate off. We have Thunder Punch. I don't think Polyrath has anything that's going to, like, one-shot me. Unless it, like, whips out Earthquake. Please don't whip out Earthquake. Surf. We should survive a Surf. We do survive a Surf. Thunder Punch. Boom. Done. Easy. There we go. That was clean. I enjoyed that. Okay, I'm amazed the Slowpoke got through that so well. Honestly, Slowpoke was really useful. I'm kind of surprised. How about that? You're worthy of Storm Badge. I guess Storm Badge makes sense to learn stuff. We received the Storm Badge. It's time to go Pokemon hunting. It's time to catch some Pokemon. Storm Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 70 obey, even traded ones. It also lets your Pokemon use Surf. Here, take this too. TM06. Close combat. Double. Double kick. I got double kick. Which one of his Pokemon had double kick? Why did we get double kick? Wait, 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 wait. I remember last time. I remember. Okay? I'm healing my team. Absolutely healing my team. Wally is sitting right there. Don't think I've forgotten Zinnia. I haven't. I haven't forgotten Zinnia. I know when she likes to battle. We're gonna go ahead and put uh, Slowpoke in front. Honestly, why not? And we're gonna leave. Ah! Um, um, I wanted to say I'm sorry for being so rude. It's just that I didn't want to see me chuck loose. I, hold on, this is gonna take some deciphering. It's just that I didn't want to see me Chuck lose. You didn't want Chuck to see you lose. Got it. But I have learned that there are always better trainers, and we must keep on training to be the best. You know what, I like your style, that's why I decided to keep an eye on you. You may call me whenever you need. I will go heal my Pokemon and start my journey. Good luck to you, Carlos. By the way, I'm Wally, nice to meet you. I, I know I know who you are. You're not battling me? Okay, that's fine. I uh I was very ready for a battle. Don't get me wrong, I know his team was kinda garbage before, with like plus one minin, but still. Oh. Oh, well, okay, I might have been uh, a little bit overprepared for nothing. But still, I feel like it's a lot safer to do it like that. Honestly though, last time when we walked out of the gym. Zinnia was clearly in visible range, and I just tried to walk the way away from her, when I could have just healed the second I came out. So yeah, maybe it's my fault. Oh well. Uh, we, it, it didn't really hinder us anyway. Sianwood City, though, is where we are right now. And we have ourselves... We have ourselves a Suicune up here. Obviously Suicune is a static encounter, so for now we're gonna surf, get ourselves a Sianwood City encounter. The sea is deep here, a Pokemon may... Be able to, are you going to do that every single time? Our encounter for Sianwood City is going to be a tentacle. That is the most predictable Pokemon I could have ever seen in my life, and that's really underwhelming. I'm not opposed to having a tentacle, okay? Tentacruel is not a bad Pokemon. However, it's really boring. <laughs> as far as Pokemon go, tentacle is like the most generic water type I can think of. So it makes me a little bit sad. Like, even Magikarp is less generic than Tentacle. Magikarp 
Yes, you can old rod it everywhere, but tentacle is just everywhere regardless. Surf, rod, doesn't matter, it's just always there. We also have no real way of weakening it. Oh wait, it's a tentacle, it's already weak, we don't need to weaken it. But we get ourselves a Seanwood City encounter, which is kind of nice, I guess. At least it is a water type. Its eyes are as transparent as crystals. Its eyes? Or the things on its head? Because I thought its eyes were like... The part... Near the, the tentacles. I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at anymore, actually. <laughs> it shoots mysterious beams of light. Um, okay. I don't know what I'm looking at. We are gonna call you... I didn't think of this far ahead. Uh, we are gonna call you... We're gonna call you Sprite. Yep. Like Sprite Cranberry. Cause that's not a dead meme. Oh boy. There we go. Now that that's over and done with, let's see what is up over here. 500 years of tradition, Cyanwood City Pharmacy, we await your medical queries. But first, the part that we actually want to see that everyone's really here for, the Suicune. Let's see what's happening here. Are you going to run away? Absolutely. That was interesting. You swing. He is here. I thought he appeared at the Burn Tower. I thought that was our first encounter with him. Guess not. Maybe you do encounter him here first. Or maybe it's just changed. I don't know. Hello, Carlos. Wasn't that Suicune just now? Wait, did we encounter him in the tower? Is that how he knows my name? I, I don't know, I'm lost now. I only caught a quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on the waves. Running on the waves looked to me like it was being blasted sideways for a rock, but okay. Suicune is beautiful and grand, that's one word for it. And it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. Even though it's, you know, like, slower than a Typhlosion, but okay. I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, Carlos, let's battle now. Okay. I wanted to, you know, maybe get an encounter with Suicune, but I guess I can battle this idiot. Oh. Level 19. Of course, of course. Um, level 19 seems a, a bit low. You know, 29, sure. Uh, 19? Hmm. Hmm, don't know about 19. That seems... Seems like you might have a little bit of trouble with that Suicune, by the way, dude. Just a little bit. I mean, Hypnosis is a good move to have if you're gonna catch it, but I feel like it would run away before the, the Drowsy got to attack. Headbutt. It's a lot of damage. I... Can we high roll? No, we low roll. Okay. Confusion. Are we going to get confused? We are. And this Shadow Ball will take him out. Okay. We're going to keep using Slowpoke for the most part, because if we can get it to a Slowbro before the next gym, it makes the next gym a lot easier. So, I don't see why we wouldn't. Electrode. That's a scarier Pokemon. However, it can't explode on Steelix, and it can't hit Steelix with any electric type moves, which means it's pretty much negated. The only other move that I can even think this thing would learn would be like Signal Beam, so I really don't see this Electrode being able to touch a Steelix. That is one thing I'm still waiting for to this day, and that is Electric Types with Move Type Diversity. It's always the same moves that they get. They get Signal Beam, and then they get a bunch of Electric Moves, and maybe like a Steel Move, or like one other move that kind of fits. They don't get a diverse move. And that makes me sad, because you know what? Maybe they should. Maybe they should get a, di a diverse move ball. What am I gonna fight Kadabra with? I could just fight with Steelix. I mean, it'll work. We resist Psychic, sure. Level 21 Kadabra, did you just disable my dig? Six damage, oh boy. I should have just went into the noodle and headbutt. But I mean, this'll work, I guess. Just 
<laughs> I'm just annoyed that he disabled my dig. Disable, what a great move. Alright, we get a little bit of XP, you swing goes down, you swing, you kinda suck. I hate to admit it, but you win. Yeah, you kinda suck. You're amazing, Carlos. No wonder Pokemon gravitate to you. Yeah, like, tentacle. What a great Pokemon to gravitate to me. I get it now. I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I'm sure we'll see each other again. See you around. Alrighty, then. Let's get into the pharmacy. Boom, boom. Do we actually have to buy the medicine? I'm going to buy some full heals, because we didn't do this before. Uh, I don't think we used any of our Hyper Potions. Yeah, we didn't. I think we have things to sell as well. Don't we have, like, nuggets and stuff? We do! Yeah, take a nugget. Uh, we'll keep the energy root. We'll get rid of the big mushroom, obviously. Fairy Dust I want to keep. I did learn what Fairy Dust does. This is for Eevee into Sylveon. And we can get a Static Encounter Eevee. Because they were both things I read when I downloaded the game. So, we can get ourselves a Sylveon if we really want. But at the moment, I'm not that concerned. Uh, anything else we'd want to sell? I think the rest we would keep. Maybe like an X Defend. I mean, that can have a use though. Honestly, an X Defend can come in useful. The Pokemon up here fine, it seems worrying you. The Lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble. Got it. Let's also do the trick. Secret Potion. I was wondering when we were going to get that. I was a little bit confused. I was wondering if we had to buy it. The secret potion is a tad too strong. I only offer it in an emergency. Okay. Okay. You know what? Sure. Sounds good. Uh, so... It's time for us to go and test if we can use fly. In theory, we should be able to use fly just fine. Uh, I do want to surf back. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be train spell over there. It's going to be the islands. I do want to surf back, and we will do that. I'm more or less just doing this to test if we actually did get access to fly. Uh, if I was to take one of my flying types out, which one would it be? Would it be Caviar the Spiro, Hot Dog the Hoot Hoot, or Flower the Pidgey? Oh boy, what a selection we have there. <laughs> that's, that's some quality Pokemon. Honestly, I kind of want to take Hot Dog the Hoot Hoot. I'm going to be perfectly honest, that's my favourite of those names. So let's just quickly take that. Our team is going to stay as is. I'm not going to swap anyone around. We've picked up four water types in a row. Huh. That's a couple. That's definitely a couple. Now let's see if we can fly back right now. We still have the lighthouse to do as well. That will all be next episode. For now, let's just go ahead. Oh, we don't have the HM for fly. Wait, you get the HM for fly here though, right? You? That wasn't very hard. Okay, thankfully I remember that or else that would have been awkward. My husband lost you, so he needs to train harder. That's good since he was getting a little chubby. Oof. <laughs> Unfortunate, my dude. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Alright, fly. Hot dog. I would love to fly on a hot dog. Again, not a thing I expected to say while playing Pokemon, but a thing that I've said nonetheless. Anyway, let's go ahead and see, can I fly? I can fly. Good to know. So if we really wanted to, we could go and like, pick up all the encounters we've missed with Surf and stuff. Okay, okay. I mean, maybe I should actually fly just to make sure. Yeah, we can use fly. Okay. That's good. That's good. We have that tested. Uh, next episode, we are going to be going ahead, probably surfing around a lot, uh, getting ourselves the encounters out on that area. Honestly, we can use fly to check and see if the, the root names are there, right? Route 40, Route 41, and Well Islands. We could potentially get free encounters over there. So that's something we'll probably do. And then we will go ahead and take the Olivine City Gym Challenge if we get through the lighthouse in time. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, bye!